Welcome Bitcoin friends, it's Bitcoin Memo. Today we're going to look at the Bitcoin price and this crazy action we've been having. So just on this first chart here, we can see just a week ago back on the 4th of January, we're all the way down at 28,700. And then we've pumped up all the way to 41,900 in a four day period. That's a 47% gain. Since then, since the 4th, basically in eight days, we've come down 27% from that peak. And most of this has just happened in the last two days. And we can see it's very, very choppy here, long wicks. Very hard to trade unless you were shorting it all the way down or you were catching these run ups going along at the bottom of these weeks. So just looking on the daily chart, we can see how big this daily candle is here, all the way from 38,000 down to 30,000. The $8,000 daily move to the downside. And I've just got this fib drawn here, just from the bottom here, where we made a, a lower low on the daily. And we can see the golden pocket is around this 28,000, 29,000 area, high 28s. And I also have this line drawn here, this white line. And it's just connecting the tops all the way on up from this run up all the way down at 13,000. I do think this trend line will be important. And we did it did uh, act as resistance for quite a while here. And then when we broke it, used it as support, went higher. So I do think this should act as support. We could go lower in the way that the things are at the moment, but I think this might act as support. It coincides with the golden pocket area here. And if we just look at the four hour chart, we can see these two red lines here. This is the 200 exponential moving average on the four hour chart. And this is the 200 exponent, uh, 200 moving average on the four hour chart. We can see that it's approaching this golden pocket area here also. So we do have these three things sort of agreeing with each other here. If we were to bounce here, it would be a higher high compared to the one we did on the 4th of January at 27,600. So I am looking to go long at this area obviously use a fairly tight stop loss or low leverage because we can always go lot lower. Just looking at the EMA ribbon here, we have broken below the four hour EMA ribbon, which once we do have a body below the EMA ribbon here, open and close, it does generally indicate a quite a decent drop. And we might come back up and test this top of the ribbon before coming back down again, maybe completing this move. And if we just look back here, it's acted as support for quite a long time here. The last time we were below it was in 9th of December when we were all the way down at 18,180. So we could get a bounce here back. What I notice quite often is we will come back into the ribbon here and we'll come to this yellow line here, hit the top of the yellow line and then get a rejection here and go further down. So this would be a good shorting opportunity here. If we do break the ribbon, then uh, we probably will likely go higher and possibly form a new all time high. And just looking on the daily chart with the EMA ribbon, we can see currently we are getting support on the top of the ribbon here. The body of the candle is right in this area. It also coincides with the 0.5 fib level and we have wick down into the ribbon. So the bottom of this ribbon is down at 25,400. Again, if we did break this level with a open and closed candle, we will be going a lot lower, perhaps down to these two these 200 day exponential moving average down here. But this is all the way down at 16.8. So I don't think that's going to happen. I do think we are going to get a bounce here. We might get a bounce and go sideways for a bit before we come down. So this is the CME Bitcoin futures chart. And just wanted to make note that we do have this massive gap here also around the 24,000 to the 26,000 level. And these gaps don't have to be filled. There's no reason they have to be. They do quite often get filled. There's also a gap down here at 18.8. But one thing I would note is a CME Futures was actually launched at the peak in 2017. And basically they've only been around at the time that we've been in a bear market and now we're starting the bull market. So we don't have a price history with Bitcoin futures in a in a bull market. So I do expect that we might see more of these gaps. But it's just something to take note of. 
just if we do end up breaking lower perhaps this is an area where we might come into this box and then go higher so just looking at the weekly chart now we can see that so far this week this candle is, is a eight thousand dollar candle we've only just started the week so we do have quite a few days left of trading for the week to close and i have pulled up here the 21 week exponential moving average it's currently sitting at 20,500 and climbing every week and i also have this volume profile here drawn just showing the longer the bars here the more volume that was traded in that price range so if we do draw the fib on the weekly we can draw it a few ways we could draw it all the way down here where we did have this pullback on the weekly down from 10,000 up to the top here and that would put the golden pocket in this area of 21,000 22,000 and the 21 exponential moving average on the weekly is coming into that zone so that is a possibility that we could come back here but this fib can also be drawn in a different way here it can be drawn from this candle which this is a lower low on the weekly and after that there was no other lower lows so if we did draw it from here the golden pocket would be around the 26 9 26 000 area so perhaps we could go sideways here for a bit maybe maybe go up and then form some sort of consolidation range making a triangle here and perhaps this 21 week moving average might slowly come up to this golden pocket area and eventually we drop down into that before bouncing and going higher so that could look something like this we could form a triangle pattern here where we just zigzag in between bit of a rough drawing and then eventually breaking down from that triangle and coming towards the golden pocket here and uh, this moving average here could come to meet it so it's definitely a possibility there and of course if we do form a range here and just go sideways it could be a good time for altcoins to go up while bitcoin staying in a range so just looking at the vvpvr here we can see uh, the next highest spike here from the top down is right in this golden pocket area at 27,000 and then we do have another spike down here around 22.8 also quite close to this range here perhaps we could wick down while still getting support with this vpvr with the body closing a little bit higher than the wick but personally i do think we're gonna come down to around this range here this golden pocket i just want to look at the previous bull cycle here from 2014 to the end of 2017 we can see we broke the all-time high here and then we had this big run up similar to what we're doing at the moment and we can see when we did get a pullback this is on the weekly chart we can see the pattern that it did the body of the candle the the first pullback week closed at the same level as the previous candle with the wick down and then we did form this sideways range for several weeks before having another drop and this one didn't quite come back to the golden pocket here it got about halfway between the 0.5 and the 0.618 and then that pullback was complete the next week we went pretty much all the way back to the top and then carried on higher so i do think a similar thing might happen with this current pullback as you can see at the moment the body of the candle is below but there's still uh, four more days of the week so i do think we might close this week at 33,000 then go sideways for maybe three weeks then have the bigger pullback to this golden pocket area lining up with the 21 week exponential moving average but just another thing to notice with the rsi we can see we have had this pullback now on the weekly we were at a 95 reading currently we're at 74 so quite a big pullback in the rsi which it was very very high pretty much the highest point since the early pretty much since 2013 so we can see that we do get these sharp pullbacks when we do get overextended and also have this line drawn here this red line at the 53 reading level you can just see it a bit better here and in the bull markets this is a line of support in the previous one we bounced off it several times we can see in the current one we bounced off it twice and now we are coming down 
So that's at 53. Currently we're at 74. So a similar pullback like this would bring the line all the way back down to this red area and it would be a good place to long. I do think this will coincide with the 21 week exponential moving average and when they do coincide I'll be looking to go in a long quite heavily and I think it's possibly going to be in this area. So you can see this, the size of this candle body so far is, is almost half the size of this one and, and if you doubled the length of this line it would be close to this 55 area. So just to refresh in the previous bull market, you can see we had these pullbacks here and we did pull back to the 21 week exponential moving average several times. You can see it here, here's another time and here's another time here. So I'm looking for the same thing to happen here. And just looking at the cycle before the last one, this is the 2011 to 2014 cycle here. You can see once we broke the all-time high, we really took off here. But you can see eventually we do need to have this big pullback here with this massive candle here, second candle, and then before going higher. So I just want to compare this cycle here to the current cycle. And we can see here what I've done is overlap the 2011 to 2014 cycle here. These are the yellow candles and I've just uh, made it fit on the time scale because that was a bit quicker cycle. This one's a bit longer. So I've just mapped it out here pretty much close to the bottoms here, close to the top. And we can see it obviously was very different here. It took longer to go to start taking off with the yellow candles. But you can see once we did start taking off here, we've had a very similar run up, which is very steep and, and a pullback was needed. On a bigger scale, you can see we did go quite high. If we do overlap both these cycles, it would take Bitcoin around to 160,000 and then having a drop to 32,000. But that was in the early days when the market cap was quite low and we did have bigger volatility. So I'm not expecting this to happen. But I do think it's interesting that we did go up in, in such a steep way that was very similar to that cycle. This is the same comparison on the logarithmic chart. And if you were to map it out to the actual peak, it would take Bitcoin up to 550,000. But it's just something interesting to compare because we did have this similar run up. But just want to give a quick look at some alts. This is Cardano. And just drawing the fib here from the bottom to the top can see currently we bounced at the golden pocket pretty much spot on and this is the weekly EMA ribbon which also acted as support so if Bitcoin does go sideways perhaps these altcoins now have had their pullback and they, they will continue to go higher while Bitcoin goes sideways and this chart is Stellar Lumens you can see drawing the same fib it's quite similar to Cardano had it had a bigger pullback went past the golden pocket but currently the body of the candle is getting support on this area and also support on the weekly EMA ribbon. And looking at silver chart now, we're in this triangle for quite a long time. We got the breakout, the measured move is all the way up to $32 and it's had quite a big drop here with this candle and I think maybe silver could come down and retest this triangle before taking off. Currently, it's getting support on the weekly EMA ribbon. So this is on the four-hour chart, and I'm just looking to go long here, which is the 200 moving average and the 200 exponential moving average on the four-hour chart. So I do have orders laid to catch this if we do drop down to this area. And also, I've drawn the Fib retracement here. This is from all the way down here, and it might be a bit hard to see. You can see we did a lower low here on the 4 hour, and that was the lowest point before we started going higher. So I do have it drawn from that point, and if we do draw it there to the top, the golden pocket area is here around the 26,000 area. So I have my fibs drawn here. This is on the weekly chart. This is the candle that made a lower low compared to the previous week. And since then we've continued going up. So I've drawn the fib from this level to the top. We can see the golden pocket area is around these high 26,000. 
to 26.2 to 26.9. So I do have orders layered here to catch this drop. I do think we might come down to this area and I've just got a, a few orders a bit higher just to make sure they get filled in case it gets front run. So that's how I'm planning to play this drop. We do have this bullish divergence here on the one hour time frame, just with higher lows on the RSI and lower lows on the price action. So I do think we will get this bounce here, but I don't think that the one hour divergence is strong enough to change the whole trend. I'll be looking for more a, div a divergence on the four hour chart. So perhaps we might form one here if this comes up a bit more and then we come up and then we drop lower but the RSI goes higher than this previous low then if we do have a bullish divergence here I do think that may be the bottom and we might turn around another thing to note here is on the daily chart we have the 50 moving average on the daily 50 exponential moving average on the daily and that's also coming into this golden pocket area so I do think that confluence with the 200 moving averages on the 4 hour and the 50 moving exponential moving average on the daily coinciding is a good indicator that we this might be an area we're going to come to and before getting a bounce. And we also have this sideways action here. So I think this is an area where we will at least get a small bounce if not a complete turnaround. So I hope you enjoy that technical analysis. We'll have to watch the charts over the next few days, see how low Bitcoin can go if we're going to get a bounce in the areas we talked about. I'm Bitcoin Mamo. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.